<clears throat> I cannot see what I'm doing. Wendy is operating the camera today. <clears throat> so, this is our our Merry Christmas uh, episode number 10, Feast with the Beast. So we made our, um, our Bloody Mary with candied bacon. We got some green beans, they fell to the bottom. Celery. Uh, we were gonna do a homemade uh, mix, but we, we couldn't find horseradish powder. So, uh, so we bought uh, Tabasco, all right? But, cheers to everybody. Ah, nice. David did make the candied bacon that's in it. I made the candied mm -hmm. bacon, so come here. <gasps> Merry Christmas, Starkey. Thank you. I made. Oh. I made. <laughs> show me. I made two batches of candied bacon. The first batch, I overcooked just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit overcooked. <laughs> so I had to make another batch. And the other batch. Look at it. Beautiful. Looks beautiful. All right. <clears throat> so sometimes you fuck up. You just got to redo it. Um, here, hold on a minute. That damn thing's good. So <clears throat> I don't know if uh, Daryl, the hash man, is on here. I haven't seen him yet. Um, <clears throat> but when we planned this show, we thought of him. He's always doing hash this and hash that. So we are doing a corned beef hash eggs benedict. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So I did my, my corned beef last night. Um, I smoked it for a couple hours first and then I braised it. I didn't boil it like you normally do. But, oh my God. Taste that. It is really, oh, really wow. good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so I diced it up into little cubes, right? And um, <clears throat> we got new new potatoes. They're diced up in little tiny cubes. Yellow onion, right? And red pepper. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the grill. What I'm also going to show you how to do, uh, do some homemade um, hollandaise sauce. It's real freaking simple. Um, it is a little bit of work. Um, and then I'm going to show you um, how, to, how I do poached eggs. Poached eggs are kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. A big key to poached eggs is using fresh eggs because the older the egg, um, the white uh, starts degrading and it gets watery and it falls apart. So the fresher the egg, the better. Um, but I'm going to show you a little trick that um, I don't know. May, uh, hopefully, I'll be showing you this, uh, and uh, it's going to be it's going to make your poached eggs a lot easier, and they're going to come out nice and uniform and awesome looking. Um, Daryl McLean is watching. Daryl McLean. All right. <laughs> and then I clarified the butter. So you boil your butter, or you heat your butter up, let it melt. And then it separates because uh, butter has milk and it has water in it. So you see how most of the milk is settled to the bottom. You got a little bit at the top. So whenever I use this, um, it's going to have a higher smoke point. Hash man's in. Hash man. So Daryl, we are making, uh, I don't know when you came on. We are making um, corned beef hash eggs benedict, my man. So we're going to let that set right there for a little bit. I am going to get, um, actually I kind of need a spoon, but that's all right. Dump a little bit of this butter on. And throw a little bit of oil. And throw your potatoes on. Ah, I love the smell of real butter. Yeah, so. Get these going just a little bit. They need to soften up. <clears throat> and then, <laughs> Hashman said, "Good morning, Grow Beast Nation. That sounds dangerously delicious." And it will be. A little bit of 
butter on this. All right. Feliz <clears throat> Navidad, Julio. Salt and pepper. Nope, it's Wendy. We don't know where Ace is. Ace is supposed <laughs> to be here. So if anybody knows where Ace is, tired of coming to work. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of our Christmas hats are over there too. Nobody wanted to wear their hat today. So I'll put it on in a minute. We'll, we'll throw it on. I just yeah. When we start giving stuff away, we'll, uh... There you go. Hey, Phil. Alright, so look. Whenever you're doing uh, potatoes on the uh, flat top, <coughs> keep one of these nearby. Gives you a lid, right? Helps you cook them up a little bit faster. Bam. There you go. So, Mark, good morning, Chris. All right, so we got the potatoes cooking. We got... Um, Logan wants to know if you can revisit the clarified butter comment. He just missed it. <clears throat> yeah, so um, anytime I... Anytime, especially when I'm cooking on the flat top, which that's actually where I do most of my cooking, I always throw a stick of butter um, on, and it helps separate the milk. You can see how the milk, so you get, you get it to where it's uh, melted and cook it just a little bit past that. It'll help the water evaporate and then you just take it off and let it sit and all the milk will settle to the bottom and the top is all clarified butter. It's real simple. Uh, the butter can, it has a higher smoke point. Um, whenever we make our hollandaise sauce, it's going to make a better hollandaise sauce. Um, so look, I'm going to throw these. We get Thomas's English muffins because of the nooks and crannies. So when you do Thomas's English muffins, you use a fork to pull them apart. Do not cut them with a knife because then you get all that goodness. All right. Throw actually. Kenny, it's great weather today. Actually, it's in the upper fifties. Beautiful. I actually just uh, pulled a brisket off of here too. You could, you know, they'd, be, they'd be good on the grill too. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I should do them on here. Yeah. But... Well, do you have room? Yeah. Oh. Right there. You know what? I'm going to throw them over there. Yep. <laughs> uh, Ryan Clark said for you to uh, do a fe uh, feast with the beast on making um, the corned beef. Oh, you know, um, dude, the corned beef was so freaking easy. Um, but no, we definitely should do that. Um, we have a whole, a whole bunch of stuff planned this year, but look at this corned beef, dude. That's actually a nice picture. This is, hmm, it might be the best corned beef I've ever had, <laughs> but I'm partial because it's mine. All right, so you and go. The potatoes is what's going to take the longest to cook. They're getting there. Yeah. So we want to get them softened up. Yeah, the onions are coming along. Um, Dwayne Putnall wants to know how long does it take to cook corned beef? Uh, so, <clears throat> um, once it's all pickled and everything, which you just go to the grocery store and buy corned beef, it's basically a brisket that's that's already been pickled. 
um, two hours, and then I braised it. So a lot of times people get corned beef and they and they boil it, right? But um, I don't do it that way. I smoke it for a couple hours, and then I stick it in uh, a smaller aluminum pan than this, but basically aluminum pan, and I put about that much beef stock in it. I put some onion, some fresh garlic, and uh, yeah. Sorry, Mark. We uh, we're doing old school with the phone, and a call came through. Is it okay now? So what'd you miss? I think it just froze up for about 20 seconds. Um. So yeah. So then I just um, I braised it really all night. I went to bed. And then uh, this morning I got up, I pulled it off, it was perfect, I let it cool down, and then, uh, so that's what we got there. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> um, Do y'all like the um, the show better going back old school, rather than the other yeah, cameras? Yeah, so, <clears throat> I, was try I was working so hard to try to stream it everywhere, that um, it was degrading everything, the cameras... The video wasn't as good, the sound wasn't as good. So we're gonna go back to just doing basic. Uh, we're just gonna feed it to uh, Facebook. We're gonna go to the business page and then paste it into the group so it feeds at both places at the same time. Um, and then we'll just upload it to YouTube when it's done. And if Ace was here, she would be taking pictures and uploading them to, uh, <laughs> to Instagram. Everybody likes it better this way. I do too. Yep. Um, <clears throat> we are very close to let me turn this up some I gotta get so I gotta get the water boiling for the uh, poached eggs for the um, hollandaise sauce you just need uh, you're gonna be using a glass bowl putting your egg yolks in here and uh, whisking it so you control the heat you don't want your eggs to cook we'll get to that in a minute um, let me go ahead and show you yep, my little trick. I was trip. about to say the same thing, Dwayne. Don't forget the English muffins. Yeah. I just flipped them. All right. So I'm trying to turn this up. Uh, Mike Bove said it keeps skipping. I'm not sure. Is anybody else having that problem? <clears throat> I can't tell what they're saying. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm a... Yeah. Daryl said this is the first feed he's gotten that hasn't frozen up, so I'm guessing he <laughs> likes it. <laughs> All right, I don't know what they're looking at. All right, they're looking at what I'm looking at. I don't know what you're looking the at. The only time it froze up was when a call came through. We're good. Everybody's good. Okay, and I just can't tell what's, All right, in, yeah, the, go ahead. what's in the screen. Um, That's what's weird about doing it this way, as I can't see what you see. I'm just blind. So anyway. I'll be y'all's voice. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get... Can't get enough pictures of the uh, corned beef. All right, let me uh, do a couple little things. So move a couple things around here, and then a couple of people says it's choppy and buffering, but a lot of people say they're not having a problem. So I'm not really. Sure. Are you doing? Uh... I haven't. There hasn't been a problem from what I can see so much. Look at this. It's probably because. Well, Jennifer says it's good. Yeah, most people say it's good. Oh, a couple of people haven't tried. Okay. It, All right. So maybe on your end. Who knows? Right. Yeah. Uh, so the drinks right here, Jennifer. <laughs> My candied bacon. And bacon is good. Um, celery, olives. My green, my green beans fell down in here. There you are. Chaz is asking any attachments for the beast mop yet. That's <coughs> <laughs> what you get. So the attachments have been a job. We do have a silicone uh, head attachment that is being worked on right now. Anybody who's bought a Beastly Barbecue set is going to get a free uh, silicone head. We're just going to ship them out to everybody. So one, 
one day, probably the end of January, you're just gonna get something in the mail and it's gonna be a, a silicone mop head for the mop. Mark, you know it's spicy. It's very, very spicy. <laughs> Uh, here, him and the tongs. George James wants to know if you've ever used wine with your brisket. I have never used wine with my brisket. Check through that. Oh, okay. These are getting nice and done. Let's throw these together. Turn that down. Oh, Rob Tuffy wants to know what is our favorite dish for dessert. For Christmas and our favorite dessert. My, David, David's favorite dessert is anything. No, my favorite <laughs> dessert is um, cheesecake. Not just any cheesecake. It's that cheesecake. <clears throat> it's that cheesecake that when you eat it, you have to pull it off the fork and it, it sticks to the roof of your mouth. It's so thick and, and dense. Uh, My favorite very dessert heavy. is a gooey brownie with vanilla ice cream and a nut cheese chocolate. Okay, so I turned this burner, actually I'm turning this burner off. And... Oh, look who's in the house! <laughs> <laughs> trying to sneak Merry in! Merry Christmas! <laughs> She's trying to sneak in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Go put on your elf hat now. You got your drinks in there. That's your penalty. Thanks. You have Maybe. to wear the elf hat. <laughs> Alright. So the English muffins are almost done. I need... A little bit hot? This shit's hot. Oh, you need a plate? No. So what I want to do... Brownie a la mode. That's right, Rob. Delicious. So I kind of elected to not put my table up today. Mark says he's got a cheesecake recipe for you. I'll, we're, I'll take a look at it. I have a <laughs> kick-ass cheesecake recipe. He dude. does. Um, all right, so this is how... Ace <sighs> just went in the house to get her drink. She'll be back. <laughs> so... Do I have... Do I have Pam? Yes. Do I? Here, yeah, hold on. Let me go get. I'm gonna go grab something out of the kitchen. So basically, you do this. One second. Instead of just dropping the egg in the water, I'm trying to get this water boiling. It's not boiling. It's simmering. It's not good enough. You want a low boil, right? Yeah. Well, so you put, you just get yourself a little bowl. Get this dip down in there. Spray it just a little bit. Where's my eggs? In the house. <laughs> Let's do another close-up of the corned beef. Mike Bove lost the feed. We don't seem to be having a problem on this end, so I'm not sure. Hopefully, if somebody loses the feed, it comes back. Julio, we're doing um, English muffins. All right, so now that I'm getting all my stuff together, isn't that pretty? <laughs> That's beautiful. So anyway. Again, more beautiful when they're brown eggs. A big thing that's important is fresh eggs. Okay. So once you do this, you just dump your egg in there. You see where I'm going with this, right? <clears throat> this little trick is worth the price of the show. You just take this bad boy. They are out of it. Now, technically, you can tie it, but I um, I use zip ties. It's just easier. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay? So you get all these together, you drop them in the water. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about anything. They just, when they get done, they're nice and uniform and everything. So, actually I'm just gonna do one for now. Um, this should be boiling, it's not. Usually you go about five minutes, so you just drop the whole thing in there. You don't have to worry about the egg separating. You don't have to worry about it sticking to the bottom. You don't have to worry about anything because it's going to set up. You can even do a double yolk if you want, <laughs> right? So we are almost, so this will go about five. It might go six minutes because the water's not boiling. Uh, turn the heat up. But while that's doing that, we can do our hollandaise sauce. Oh, can you grab the cayenne pepper? Sauce. Cayenne pepper, it's in the door yep. of the pantry. So what we need, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, just dump it. So you just need the yolks. So you separate the yolk and the white. <laughs> Christopher Miller would like to place an order. So, got one yolk. <clears throat> yes, they are. Andrew, Andrew Knox said zip ties are as good as duct tape. Always handy. That's it, man. <laughs> Bye, Jason. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, so we got three yolks, right? <laughs> Chaz, Chaz said your, your disorganization is way <laughs> much is way better than his is. Well, see that's the thing you about win. doing this live. You see all the dis disorganized shit. You see all the mistakes. Um, you see when I catch shit on fire. Um, there's no editing, right? So it makes things a little stressful sometimes. All right, so you got three egg yolks, no whites, right? I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt. Me too, Rob. A little bit of pepper. Can you get um, yeah. a little bit of water in a cup? A touch of cayenne. Yeah. Mark Corbin said he hopes you get an egg separator for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got your egg yolks, your salt, pepper, and uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper. A few people have said use a water bottle to separate the yolks. You never did that. A water bottle? Yeah, y'all have to tell you me. You have to show to me that trick. All right? Look at that. See that? That's all coming along nice. Okay, so the whole thing about hollandaise sauce, you got to keep it going. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Says the So. You do, not, you do not want the yolks to cook. You want to hit it with the whisk because you need to get air in it and it'll fluff up. And then before you know it, see the air bubbles getting in it? Before you know it, it will, um, it will double in size. Let me put this in. I need to melt my butter okay. back down. You squeeze the bottle, the water bottle, and you <clears throat> suck the yolk in to separate it. So you squeeze the bottom and you let it loose, I guess, and it sucks. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, that's cool. We need butt. Ow! Pat, you should have some of this candied bacon. Pat just made his bloody mary. Oh my God! This is Ace's first <clears throat> bloody mary. I don't like tomatoes, so. Oh, well. 
This is, it's not a tomato. It's good. I like it. Look at that bacon. Look at that. Let's take a picture. So, what you do. <laughs> get back on the beast. Because you do not want to um, let the yolks cook. You put it on to get it hot, take it off to cool down. All right, so. But you never stop whisking, pretty much. Um, can you do butter on these? Well, they're hot. Thank you. I know, Pat, vodka is the most important ingredient. See how it's getting more? It's like doubling in size. Okay, and it's not cooking. That's thickening up. This is the boring part of the whole show. <laughs> yeah, look, look at these. Yum. Yum. Dwayne says, never boring. Dwayne gets a Christmas present. <laughs> Dwayne wins a trip. <laughs> no. Dude, uh, you can pick out a t-shirt. <laughs> you get a free t-shirt. Thanks. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're almost ready to start adding butter. Just drizzle in. You gotta keep it going. Kathy's making a prime rib. Yum. We were thinking about that, Kathy. So what you need to make sure of is it, that it doesn't separate. You gotta keep it, keep it, see how it's nice and creamy looking? But if it does separate, it starts to kind of curdle a little bit. There's a fix. Um, I can't show you unless it happens. I don't want to fuck this up. So. Dwayne said the t-shirts don't fit him. Oh. So. How about an apron? How about an apron, Dwayne? Oh, Dwayne. Okay, I know you're talking about. Yeah, putting all. Really yeah. Um. How about an apron or a hat, dude? that egg. Does it cook? Thank you, James. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the most terrible part of doing things homemade. And Dwayne just let ah Dwayne said apron's cool. Mm. Holy shit, that's really good. <laughs> All right, dude, we are freaking almost done. Almost done. <laughs> Michael is going to say, your chicken wings getting tired. Dude, it is. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> it is. Ah. <laughs> what a <girl> joke. <laughs> right. All right. So. You see how it's kind of thick, right? So I'm gonna thin that out just a little bit. And that's with the water spoon. Just a little bit of water. <laughs> Bam. See? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> just lost five pounds. Oh, Burned a thousand calories. Now eat that bacon. I'm all pumped up. <laughs> all yoked. Uh.
Rob Tuffy wants to know how you stay that skinny. He said you must have a <laughs> hamster wheel. Wait, you got bacon on your face. Look, <laughs> he's got bacon on his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How are we looking? <laughs> Ryan Dickinson called you Popeye. Okay, so. <sighs> the thing is, I wasn't paying attention. Right. It's way cooked. So I don't know if it's overcooked or not. I'm very nervous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. Now, I know my my, my workspace is a mess. Move this over. Heat my English muffin up a little bit. Let's do this one. It's not messy, it's not working. I'm trying to keep the stuff from hitting my face when I take a sip. That's why I put all of mine in there so I can soak up the alcohol as well. It doesn't belong on top, it belongs in there. So, Look, all of my vegetables are in there. Is there a corned beef on here? Let me stop it up a little bit. Jennifer Bates said there's no such thing as overcooked. Right? It may be perfect to some, and that is true. Mm. I need a uh, plate one of these brown sauces. Okay. 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 Egg Benedict, about to be served up. You have a happy birthday to shout out to oh, today. Oh, it's Vicky's birthday. Vicky Lutz Brown. I can't get the, the the middle name right. I know it's her maiden name, but like, so it's Vicky Brown in the group. Happy birthday, Vicky. All right, this is gonna be awesome. Freaking can't wait to taste A brown what? Where? A brown sauce? A brown salsa, yeah, to, to put a plate. It's in the, um, a plate. <laughs> so I overcooked the egg. Call it a plate. I overcooked the egg. Why don't you give that one to Ashley? <laughs> I will, but I needed one for the plate up. I need an egg, yeah. In there. I overcooked the egg. No. Yeah. It's a plate. Yeah. Some people call it a plate. It's a saucer. It's a saucer. It's a small plate. Okay. All right, so look, <laughs> you pile that shit on there. Right? Now, if I didn't overcook this, just pretend it's not overcooked. Fucking <laughs> fuck the right. mm. <laughs> She's coming to get this one? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, the chives. Oh, we didn't cut up the chives. Ah, uh, go cut some chives real quick. Hurry, Ace. No, just bring bring me a chive out here. You're in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right. So, what I got? <laughs> That's it. If the egg wasn't overcooked, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, Andrew Knox said it's beautiful anyway. I was going to cut yeah, it and Jennifer let the yolk all run out. out but, Me too, uh, Jen. It's looking good. But, uh... <sighs> Rob Tuffy said he'd eat it. <laughs> oh, I'm going... Yeah, it's not going to waste. <laughs> it's getting eaten. It's not going to waste. 
Yeah. This is what happens when you don't cut up the stuff you're supposed to ahead of time. You got to do it like this. Or when you forget one ingredient to cut up. There. But that was an easy ingredient All right. to fix. So there it is. Mom. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Chaz said it looks extremely edible to him. Oh my God. I know. I'm going in for We're all picking off the plate. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. Oh my God. Yep. There's sauce everywhere. All right. So it's time to give some shit away. <laughs> Mark Corbin wants to know what the girls are going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, because he's got three of them here right now. <laughs> and our grandson. So, that's alright. We'll give him the cooked egg. <laughs> we'll make ours after the show. What? <laughs> I need a fork. Right. Yeah, get a fork and a knife. Man. Mm -hmm. I know. It's an, being wrapped in that thing, though, it's an odd shape for an egg. Yeah, well. That's so slow. Don't touch it. <laughs> Kristen Roberts wants to know how fat she'll get if she eats it every day. <laughs> <laughs> you won't because you'll be we, making this. We have a disclosure. <laughs> we have a disclosure. We're not responsible. Oh, yeah. Again, but it's still soft. Pretend it's the, not running. Pretend yeah. the yolk is running everywhere. Right. Pretend it right. That's the beauty of a eggs Benedict. It's all right. Don, he wrapped it in cellophane and zip tied it and put it in the water. We just lost track and it overcooked. But um, it's a it's a trick so your egg doesn't break up or stick to the bottom. You want me to show you a trick again? Y'all want to see the trick again? <laughs> Give me a bite. Oh my god. I don't know. You know what? Even though the yolk is not runny, this is awesome. Jeff dude. said that egg's perfect. And Kathy said for her too, that egg is perfect. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting a bite. Mm. Oh my god. So. Mm. Oh, fresh grated pepper would be good, Kevin said. Mm. Damn it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> too late. Mm. Here, Ace, you want a bite? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I hate food. Okay, it's a big bite. Kenny Sons wants to know how you started in smoking and grilling. Um, John, this, this shit is good. You Make know what? It. I, um. Oh my god. It's so good. And it's here, going fast. Up with a little bit of this. <laughs> 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 Jeff wants you to make the sauce again. <laughs> oh, good, man. You might have to watch the the re the, the the live feed. I am gonna have to make more sauce. That's good. Right, dude. That's the worst Isn't part. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's like good. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about this for days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been looking like forward to this. Like drooling, like drooling. We really want to make this, man. All right, I'm taking another bite. Yep, and then I'm sorry, another people. Bite, and then. But Ashley's in there. <laughs> Ashley wants, she's waiting for one. Yeah, you, can bring, you can bring her these. We're going to bring this plate. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Mm. Here. Mm. Potato. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Everybody's getting fed. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas. Mm. Do you need a napkin? Nope. nope. I don't use napkins. <laughs> he doesn't I know. use napkins. All right. That's the joke. I think we need to so we want to give some stuff away. Nope. <laughs> nope. We want to give some stuff away. Um, right. So I don't know. You need to pull up your phone and just pick some people. Right. Just yeah. go on the business page and, or the group page. Instead. Oh. Just yeah. go on your phone. It's dead. Oh, well, your good. phone's dead. I thought I was getting a new womp, one yesterday. Womp. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so right, y'all don't leave yet. We're gonna give away some um, stuff. Uh, Kathy, Kathy, Jerry Rook said, "Pick me. <laughs> you, you win. Won. You win. You win." So, <laughs> what we're giving away is t-shirts, hats, and aprons. Kathy, what would you like? 
We're gonna pick, we're gonna, Ace is going to get her computer, we're gonna go through and randomly call out some, some more people. <laughs> this, if you put this together, it's gonna be one, the best hash you ever had, and two, the best ex Benedict you ever had. It is off the chain, man. It really is. Oh my God. You see my corned beef? John Adair it's says beautiful. he really needs an apron. You got one. <laughs> you got an apron, John. And Kathy giving, wants a t-shirt. We're giving shit away today. Kathy, so just um, send Pat a message and let him know what, what size. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then Pat, um, I'm going to ship everything from my house. So, um, I just pull everything from the warehouse, bring it here, and then I'll ship it out to everybody. Um, but we just need to keep track of everybody for now. Um, there was something else I wanted to do today. I can't remember what the heck it was. Mm. That's good. Uh, Jennifer Bates would like an apron. A few people want an apron, a hat, different Jennifer things. gets an apron. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We have to go through, y'all. I can't. I can't. Ca everybody's responding, and um, we'll go through. If we don't call you out on the live feed, doesn't mean you ain't gonna be a winner. You ain't gonna be a Christmas winner. So we do have a limited amount of aprons. Yeah. So. Um. But. Oh my God. <laughs> Kathy said, "Give her a barrel house." <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, y'all. I'm getting another bite. Mm. Mm -mm. So, we are doing our chop challenge mm, right. after the holidays. And this is the way it's going to roll out. So, I'm kind of glad it got delayed because it, it allowed us more time to really think about how we wanted to do it. And Mark actually already did his video. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but if he wants to redo it, if he rethinks it. So, do not post your video to the group or online. You send it to um, Wendy. Well, we're going to send out instructions. We already sent out instructions on how to upload it. Right. And so you're going to send Wendy the information of where it's uploaded, but do not upload it to where anybody else can see it because it has to be a secret until we reveal it. Okay? Is that coming out right? You can you yeah. can you can upload it or you can send it if you can send it directly to me at Wendy right. at girlbeast.com and then I'll get it and I'll be the only one to have it. And we're gonna send out an email with the details, but the first chop challenge is chicken wings, pistachios, grape tomatoes, and cornmeal. However you do it, it just the end result has to be done on the grill or the smoker. Okay? Um So, when we launch it, it'll go for a week, but it will give you a week to do uh, your challenge. And then at the end, you do your video. Play it up nice and pretty. You can be creative, do whatever you think is going to help you win. Um, because we can't taste it, so we have to go by the way you explain it. Um, if you have somebody else taste it, the way it looks on the plate. I don't know. You just, you, it's, it's going to... This is the first time we've ever done this, so uh, we're going to see how it goes. The first round, we're going to pick five winners. And Jennifer wants to know if you don't get in the first round, can you go? But you have to be in the first round to move on. You have to be in the first round to move on. But you're going to have on. plenty of time, Jennifer. Yeah, so, do yeah, right. We're not going to do it until after the holidays. Okay, the first round's not even going to go until after the holidays. The it's going to be a couple weeks after away. The <laughs> after, after the holidays. <laughs> uh, after, after, after the, the holidays. After the holidays is gone. <laughs> with the jokes in the background. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's also those desktop drums. I'll tell you what. I used to have them. That's what we need to so. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, so what we were saying was um, you're, you have to be in the first round, but right. you're going to have a couple of weeks. So we're going to pick five winners out of the first round. Then those five winners will go to the second round. The second round, we don't choose the winner. The whole community is going to choose the winner and anybody who you can get to vote on your stock. Okay? We're trying to figure out how we're going to do that. But we want other people to help pick the winners. Okay? Now, we'll vote too, but we don't get to actually decide the winner. 
like we do the first round. And then the third round, it's going to be the same way. Um, but I think the third round, I will have a little bit more say in that one. And then the third round, the winner gets a barrel. A barrel house cooker. That's the big prize. That's the big prize. All right. A free barrel house cooker for the winner. Dude, hold on. I got something to do. <laughs> there you go. Uh -oh. Ah, right. So, we finally got grill grates back online. Right? Woo! They look a little bit different. Right? kick ass right this one fits the 22 inch but check this shit out y'all gonna love this it fits the barrel you got it upside down <laughs> there you go it there fits go. the barrel and how nice is that brian reese i hook a brother up bam what y'all think of that? Perfect. What? Yeah, dude. Yep. So, and um, we got some more surprises with grates. We, um, because you can't get a grill beast, grill grate anywhere because we own the trademark on this. <laughs> so, Chad um, said, woohoo, he's been waiting saying. for that. Yeah. Um, but we're, gonna, we're trying to get it to where we can do any size you need. That's okay? Yep. Yeah, um, it's quarter inch steel. Uh, they're heavy duty, as you can see. Um, we actually have a fire pit that's going to be coming out, and it's going to actually convert into a grill, an open grill. It's going to be the Grill Beast fire pit grill. Um, I'm hoping to have mine in um, a couple weeks. It's made out of quarter inch steel, also, so it will last a lifetime. Like, it's freaking heavy duty. It's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be sitting right over there in a couple weeks. So anyway, um, we need to give some more stuff away. Oh it's, it's so easy to win something today. Really, literally, you could say hi and win something. A bunch of people have already said it's up. That's what oh, I'm well, maybe we, we should keep track of how many we gave away. <laughs> <laughs> well, formerly you only gave away three, but a lot of people have responded. Where's my drink? Yours is one of all the stuff that nobody else wants. We kept it? piling yours. Look, here. <laughs> in fact. No, but where's the actual drink? <laughs> Somebody drank my stuff. You know what? I think that might have been mine. Yeah, you're drinking mine. Come on. I don't want all this. And she, look. Stop it. So, Wendy. <laughs> I put mine in there too. No. She ate my bacon. No, I did. You can have my bacon. I did take a bite of your bacon. Hey, boss, you can have my bacon. You don't want your bacon? Split it. No, you can. No, you have it. Have you tasted it? No. Taste oh my god, taste bacon. it before you go in that bacon. <laughs> taste no, taste the piece that's in the drink. Pull it out and... No, that's mine. Well, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Taste that. Oh man. Right, said it. Now you want to be sorry you gave away that no, bacon, aren't you? But you ain't getting it back. I don't want... I hate celery. Too much shit. Thank you very much. Stop it, I hate celery. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Everybody's putting the shit they don't want in other people's drinks. I swear to God. I like that all. I don't care. Oh my God, that was so good. Chess said the party's over. All right. It's Christmas, man. All right, so we got to give away some more stuff. Well, we've got... Seems like there was something else I wanted to talk about, too. All right, that was it. Pat's got to go. Bye, Pat. Bye, Pat. Love you, Pat. Merry Christmas, man. Pat's working on his hot water heater. On Christmas Eve. His what? His hot water heater. His what? Pat's hot water. <laughs> Pat's hot water heater went out last night. So. I just like uh, when he says water. 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 Hold on. All right. What else are we giving away? Or who else wins something? Well, comments. who else is going to win something live is the thing. Yeah. Does anybody, anybody have, have any questions stuff? about what we did? Anybody have any questions? So we we did corned beef. Carrying on. I did the corned beef last night. <clears throat> Greg, Greg Wal Walczak says hi. Hey, you're a winner. You're winner. You just won something. <laughs> Email Pat and let him know. Yes. Shirt. T-shirt. Merry hat, Christmas, or apron. Pat. So look, just to recap, <laughs> in case you uh, are late to the party. Hmm. 
Yeah. Mark Corbin said he's open. Anything you want to send his way? <laughs> Mark, your winner. Mark, your winner. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he in says Corbin, time, I'm right? thinking he's it's the other Corbin. Time. I know, I'm in the real time. Like, I don't know. What you're saying is... Oh, you know what? Because... Oh, you know that... She's on the business page. But that's all right. We'll, we'll, if we don't call you out, that doesn't mean you're not getting something. We're going to go through a review and, um, and right. see that's what we have anyway. stock of yeah. and, and who the first responders were. First the responders. First responders. <laughs> <laughs> Just responding to it. Cheers to the first response. Cheers to the right. Thank you for your hard work and service. All right, so look. I did my uh, corned beef last night. I smoked it for a couple Darryl, hours. Daryl, did you like that recipe? Daryl said he wants a hat. Daryl? Daryl? I thought Daryl already owned everything. <laughs> Daryl, you get whatever you want, man. Daryl is, is, is the shit. Kenny wants to know how long do you beat the egg? Do you mean you mean for the holiday, Kenny? The holiday sauce. Yeah. So, um, oh Lord, Diane Langenberg said, sorry, she's like, what did she miss? <laughs> we just, you might have to go back and... You missed and everything. You missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all. last night, I did the corned beef. It's so good. I smoked it for a couple hours, and then I put it in <laughs> one of those small aluminum pans, with about that much broth, um, some diced up onions, and some um, fresh garlic. Covered it, braised it all night long. Got up this morning, took it off, and just let it sit there and chill out for a little bit. Diced up some new potatoes. Not old potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Not those old big potatoes. Some, some red, potatoes. Those some, baby some red peppers. <laughs> and Don't some, need uh, everything. We still gotta make more plates. And some yellow onion. Um, cook the potatoes, which Michael because Azuna wants an autograph hat. <laughs> I can do that. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. All right, keep track of that, dude. All right, you get an autograph hat, man. <laughs> I assume you wouldn't say grill beast, not, not David Johnson. Hey, but it already you know says what? grill beast. Yeah, it's, he wants your signature. Oh, you, you're not going to know anybody could be that signature, but you, you can get one. We'll yeah, send you one. No, that's a good idea. So we have to get a, a white pen. Thank you, Phil. Phil said this was the silver. best live feed. Silver. Silver, yeah, silver pen. No, that's a Phil great said idea. this was the best live Thanks feed. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> um, it's very disorganized, but it was, it's very fluid, so I'm not setting up the table anymore unless I actually need to like show you something. But for now on, we're going to be moving around. I should always come in late. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We should, should always not. just be here is the thing. Right. We always need to help. We're going to move you into the room upstairs so, <laughs> so you'll always be here. Um, just roll down. So, Lucas, it's great um, out here. And the today. recipe is in the description. Or basically what I used, right? And dude, it's so simple. I use Thomas's English muffins because you get the nooks and crannies. You don't cut it with a knife. You pull it apart with a fork so you get the crannies. It makes it so much better. <laughs> crannies. It, truly, dude. If you have a Thomas's English muffin, yeah, they are the best. It really is good. All right. I clarified my butter, which clarifying your butter, you just put it. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> no beast summer. Yeah. So you see that? You see the white stuff? <laughs> That's milk and it falls to the bottom. So you melt your butter, you pull it off and you just let it sit. And um, while you're cooking the butter, the water evaporates. And as you let it cool down, the milk f floats to the bottom, okay? And so what you have on top- It actually is sinks to the bottom. Oh yeah, sinks <laughs> to the bottom. It's the Bloody Mary talking. <laughs> Um, so it, it sinks to the bottom, and what you end up with is all the beautiful clarified butter on the top. I was say, can you clarify how you clarify yeah. your butter? <laughs> <laughs> we checked the butter so, out, the butter is So just to clarify, <laughs> um, and then so what you have, you have clarified butter, and clarified butter has a high smoke point, which means you could almost deep fry with clarified butter. That's how high you could. Yes, but you Carlos. notice with regular butter, you put it in a pan at a burn, it's because of the freaking milk. Get rid of the milk. And you got great butter. What size is the um the grill beef grate great on the, the barrel? barrel. Ice. It's uh it's a fourteen inch, but it's I think technically it's 13, 13 and three quarters. I think. Um, 
It's freaking like. It's so cute. It's adorable. It's like the cutest <laughs> world beast thing. Ever. It is. It's freaking awesome. It man. is adorable. <laughs> um, so yeah, but they're on the website, ready to go. Um, so then I I did my own um. Holiday, holiday sauce. Holidays. Oh my God. Holidays. Holiday sauce. Holiday sauce. See, see how it's kind of separating because it's sitting here. Um, Mia wants to know is that a Blackstone or a Camp Shop flat? <clears throat> it's a Blackstone. Blackstone. And I love it. I love everything that comes off of it. Yeah. Right. Ace loves everything that comes off of it. <laughs> um. <coughs> Okay, so I clarified, I mean, the, I made the hollandaise sauce fresh. So the pan I just took off, it had some water in it. It just all evaporated. Um, so you put some water in that pan. I mean, you can go back and watch the whole thing. I'm just kind of recapping. Three yolks. Uh, yolks only. Um, whisk it. Whisk the shit out of it until it doubles in size. And your arm and you, breaks. And, right, your arm's about to break off. <laughs> Um, and then you start drizzling in the clarified butter. Now, you don't want too much. Actually, you know what I forgot to put in there is lemon. Right, I was But it was actually it. awesome without it. It was fun, but yeah, you um, need lemon now. So yeah, I, I should have squeezed some lemon in it, but right. I forgot. Um, and so you want to put the right amount Thank you, Mark. of uh, uh, butter in it. Yeah, that he said he can't have a Bloody Mary at the gym. <laughs> we got Mark he's, through his he's workout. He's working out. He's working out oh, while okay. he's watching. Getting through his workout. Awesome. So, um, <coughs> that's it. All right, go get my, my baby. Oh, and then uh, the trick mom. the trick with the uh, um, poaching the eggs, right? So, I took a bowl. I put saran wrap on top of it. Make sure it had a, oh, a dip in it. Oh, that's my baby. Come I on, sprayed it. I sprayed oh, it with Pam. <laughs> Let me and uh, I put the yolk in it. I mean, I put the egg in it, and I bundled it up and put it in the water. That way, it's it, it's nice and uniform. It's beautiful. It's all... It's, it's, Carlos it's, said, it's don't perfect. forget the egg again. <laughs> and here's the baby yeah, beast. So, and I did overcook Liam. my egg. Look, that's, Liam. That's my grandson. Say hi. Hi, Papu. Hi. hi. Say I. Hi. <laughs> freaking. <laughs> rock. <laughs> I. <laughs> freaking. <laughs> rock. <laughs> he freaking rocks. That's right. Here, buddy. Here. It's hot. Eat no. it. Eat it. Anyway, that's our grandson. No. <laughs> Thank you all for, uh, all right, for spending look. your New Year's on uh, Christmas. No, Eve no, 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 no. No. Eggs. All right, let's go. Come on, Here, take go. this. Take this. Go to your mom. No. Go get your. No. Go, get, go get your mom. He's like, no. All right, no. All right look. Um, we truly appreciate uh, you guys. How long should the egg cook? Usually about four minutes. About five minutes. Four to five minutes. Jim. But if you don't pay attention, it's still. If you do this, it doesn't matter how the egg turns out. It was freaking awesome. Kathy wants to know how long should she let her prom rib set out before smoking it. Thank you, Patty. So, um, you mean, do you want it to be a, a room temperature or not? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of up in the air. Some people let it sit out a while. I kind of let mine sit out probably 45 minutes. I kind of do that with pretty much all my meat. I let it sit out and get room temperature. I season it up and just kind of let it sit there. So, 45 minutes is cool. You know, um... Any other questions about this or anything else? Uh, Lucas wants to know if you thought any more about fitted hats. I did. I actually, I'm, I'm talking to a company now about hats. Um, <laughs> Thank I, you, Rob. I can always go back to the company I used originally, um, but I'm checking out trucker hats too. I'm checking out all different hats. Um, Happy holidays, Mark. We have about a half a dozen products going to be coming out. The um, the that the pieces that we were going to have made to go into the mop head haven't worked out the way we wanted because we have a square handle and when you screw um, a piece on it has to end at a certain point or it's going to be kind of crooked and trying to get that to, to line up right every time has been kind of tough so we're making um, some new tools 
Um, we're coming out with the silicone head that everybody's going to get for free. That that has got a barbecue, a beastly barbecue set. Um, this coming week, we're going to do as a company and as a person. I'm going to unpack all last year, which means you go over everything you did. You figure out what you did good. Figure out what you could have done better. Figure out what you made mistakes on. And that's how you start your new year. And we're going to do a little bit of this live next week. Um, so that way we can share you what our successes and our failures were as a company. Um, and, you know, hopefully y'all tune in for that. And that will be, I don't know what day that's going to be. I mean, we're going to be back next Sunday anyway with another show. But uh, we're going to be live this Your week too. My battery's getting low. Uh, my battery's starting to die out. Um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Like uh... Do you add an extra fat cap real quick to your prime rib before smoking it? Do I add? Like I guess do you when you get it if you get it cut, do you put have more of a fat cap on it than you normally would? Somebody, uh, I think it was Kathy asked, but I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if I understand the question. Right. Extra fat cap? Usually when you get a prime rib, usually it's pretty much ready to go. Um, a lot of times it already have that the twine on it even. Um, so I'm not sure if I understand the question. Send it again and clarify and we'll answer it and uh, we'll respond to your, um, to your text, to your message. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't know if, if I, see, if I saw a picture of your prime rib, I'll tell you if it's ready to go or not. <laughs> That's actually the easiest way to do it. You can actually text me your picture at 504-338-4691. Um, That's my personal cell phone number. And now the world has it. I give it out all the time. It's all right. Um, so if you have a question, don't don't hesitate to give me a Not call. I didn't think it was you, Kathy. I couldn't remember because um, it scrolled past. So anyway, look, we're going to wrap it up. My phone is about to yes. die. And um, I'm very, <laughs> uh, like I say all the time, I truly am honored that you even came here. It's Christmas Eve and you stopped to watch. And that's awesome. Um, we will be on next week. And our show will be here next Sunday. I have no clue what we're cooking. We'll figure that out this week. Um, love you guys, and I will see you soon. Merry Peace Christmas, out. everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody wave. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> right. Merry Christmas. Bye.